As a reminder to those who are joining us today, we have marked the chairs with X's, asking you to not sit in those seats so you honor the social distance that the CDC has recommended for this coronavirus pandemic. We will begin with a motion and a second to approve the emergency meeting today, after which motion by Soria, second by Carbasi. Is there any opposition to this meeting today? See, seeing none, let's do roll call. Council Member Soria? Here. Council Member Carbasi? Present. Council Member Chavez? Council Member Bredefeld? Here. Council Member Esparza? Council Vice President Capriolio? Council, Me Council President Arias? Here. We, for the record, we do have Council Vice President on the phone. We are having a little bit of technical difficulties with the new system we're using today. Uh, we do anticipate having Council Member Vice President Capriolio, Council Member Esparza, and Council Member Chavez participating via conference call when we begin the closed session. With that, City Attorney, would you please describe what we will be discussing in closed session? Yes, the closed session is conference with legal counsel concerning public security. Thank you. With that, Council, we will begin our closed session proceedings and return it for the public session. Thank you all. <clears throat> Hello. You want to identify yourself? Council Vice President Paul Capriolio. Council Vice President, good to see you. Thank you. We Take are officially reconvening an open session. There's one, two, three, four of us in the dais, one on the phone. At this time, I'm going to take public comments. Anybody in the audience wish to address the council at this point on the items listed on the agenda? Seeing none, we have, uh, we'll begin our first item. It is identified as item ID number 20-00447, consideration of emergency amendments to the Fresno Municipal Code, Article 5, Emergency Services Ordinance. It requires five votes. Is there a motion to approve? Motion, but I just want to make sure Council Member Chavez knows what number to call. He just texted. Who's, who else logged in? Council member Esparza. Did, did. What's the number? Oh, there's one more. Council member Chavez, he's online. We now have a full council. So item 20-00447 as revised, we have a motion to approve. Motion. Is there a second? Second. Count, uh, legal counsel, can you please read the revised sections of the emergency ordinance? Yes. Uh, on page two of the ordinance that was approved by council last week, uh, paragraph B would be altered to read, non-essential city, city services may be suspended. Uh, responding to request under the Public Records Act may be delayed during, during and following the emergency. In other words, it won't be suspended, they will be delayed uh, during the time of the emergency. Uh, then at the bottom of page two, under paragraph G1, uh, it will state, to the extent allowed by state law, uh, no residential tenant in the city shall be evicted for the reason of non-payment during the state of emergency caused by the COVID-19 outbreak. Also, subparagraph two, to the extent allowed by state law, commercial landlords in the tenant are hereby prohibited from evicting commercial tenants for non-payment of rent uh, during the state of emergency caused by COVID-19. Paragraph three, a tenant, whether residential or commercial, must notify their landlord they cannot pay rent within 10 days of, I'm sorry, uh, that they cannot pay rent due to a COVID-19 related impact. Then, within 10 days of that notice, the tenant must provide documentation uh, to the landlord that, for the reason of not being able to pay rent. Uh, also, added to the end of that paragraph, 
No interest, late fees, or other penalties shall accrue or be owed as a result of rent deferrals pursuant to this section. Uh, paragraph 4, adding after 30 days from March 19, 2020, just to be clear. Uh, quick, quick question. D did you say they had to provide documentation? Yes. That was it. Okay, Correct. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, the following page. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, yes. In paragraph 5, when it, uh, discussing the foreclosure protection, uh, the city will follow state law concerning uh, limitations on foreclosure protection. And then uh, in paragraph I, adding to the existing paragraph, at a minimum, any fines collected as a result of price gouging, non-essential businesses remaining open, or other matters related to the COVID-19 pandemic shall be allocated to the COVID-19 emergency response fund. Then in paragraph K, uh, a new section, bars and taverns as defined in City of Fresno Emergency Order 2020-01 per in establishments within, with California Alcoholic Beverage Control, ABC, license types 40, 42, 48, 51, 57, 60, and 61 in paren may provide takeout uh, curbside, I'm sorry, may provide curbside or delivery of alcoholic beverages if permitted by their CUP and state law including without limitation any ABC notice of regulatory relief. Also adding a section, uh, subsection L, failure to comply with any emergency order of the city, uh, yeah, any business ordered to close uh, that remains open in violation of such order shall alternatively be pun punishable by administrative citation. The city shall provide a warning and thereafter noncompliance shall be subject to a fine of $1,000 for the first offense, $5,000 for the second offense, and $10,000 for the third or subsequent offense. That's all. Thank you. There's been a motion. There's been seconded. Is there any opposition to this item being approved? I'm sorry. Before we go for a roll call vote, I have to go out to the public. Anybody in the public wish to address the council on these items? Seeing none. Uh, City Clerk, can you please call roll call for this vote? Council Member Soria? Yes. Council Member Carbasi? Yes. Council Member Chavez? Council Member Chavez? Council Member Bredefeld? Yes. Council Member Esparza? Aye. Council Vice President Capriolio? Yes. Council President Arias. Yes. Thank you. That leads us to item number two, ID 200447, considering, considering emergency, uh, I'm sorry, I just did that one. The next item is ID 20-00448, consider actions and give direction to staff concerning a program of relief for small businesses affected by the COVID-19 epidemic. Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. Motion has been made. Second has been accepted. Is there anybody from the public wishing to speak to the council on this item? Seeing none, can you do roll call, please? Mr. President, can we give a quick introduction? So people know what we're voting on. And I'll make this very quick. I know we're pressed for time. Um, unfortunately, as a result of our state of emergency, uh, there are a lot of folks out there, a lot of small business owners that have had to close. There are a lot of people they employ. Uh, and for them, it's part of their family, and they are unfortunately at work right now. And we want to ensure that while we had to make the decision to prevent the spread of COVID-19 to close some of these small businesses, that we're also going to take responsibility and provide relief to those viable businesses so that they do continue to operate once the state of emergency is lifted. So I introduce uh, to the council for direction uh, to the administration for the creation of the Save Our Small Businesses Act. I work with Councilmember Soria and Councilmember Chavez on this and also Councilmember-elect Tyler Maxwell. Um, our goal is to identify funds in our budget, a hefty sum to provide 0% micro loans, uh, which are forgivable if the business remains in operations for after a year. But the idea is to help these businesses stay viable if they're closed or heavily impacted by the state of emergency. And that's just our part as a city trying to be responsible and weather the storm. The other benefit for the city is we are going to take a hit in our tax base, which 
our sales tax revenue, which provides a lot of crucial services for maintaining our roads, our public safety, our parks, and we want to protect that investment by um, making sure we can protect our small businesses. Member Soria. Thank you, Council Member. Just want to echo the importance of supporting our small business community in this um, time of crisis. I know that I've heard personally from a lot of business owners in my district and folks worried about even not being able to pay their, their rent for, to their commercial landlord. And as you guys heard in the first vote that took place, we are putting some protections for small business owners who can't pay their rent um, so that they're not evicted by um, by their landlord if they have a commercial um, space. But also this um, Save Our Small Business Act would give immediate st stimulus to ensure that business survives the emergency and also incentivizes to reopen and reemploy staffing that is laid off due to this emergency order. So it's a form of being able to support our small business community. Thank you. Thank you, council members. There's been a first and a second. Please do roll call. Council member Astoria. Aye. Council member Carbasi. I'm sorry, one point of order. Uh, we are approving this in the form of a resolution that's been prepared, but with some modifications. We should probably put the modifications on the record first. Do you want to go ahead and put them on the record? Yes. So a resolution will be provided to the city clerk with these modifications. Um, it, the loans for the small businesses if impacted by the COVID-19 emergency uh, will be only for the businesses that have been directed to be closed or were impacted as a result of uh, the closure orders. Uh, the loans would be 0% for one year, uh, forgivable after one year if the business is still operational, and the loans will require a personal guarantee from the owners of the companies. Thank you, legal counsel. We have a first, we have a second. We have a description of the revisions for the record. And the council members will be available afterwards to do interviews with the press for any questions they have. Please do roll call. Council member Soria. Council member Carbasi. Yes. Council member Chavez. Yes. Council member Bredefeld. Yes. Council member Esparza. Aye. Vice president Caprielio. Yes. President Arias. Yes. Council, thank you for spending the last few hours on improving the protections for re uh, residential and commercial tenants, providing some additional support for small businesses, clarifying the public records that we intend to continue processing from the general public and those who request information. And uh, we will also be updating the essential businesses that will be allowed to open in the next couple hours. So thank you for the few hours of hard work, um, and that adjourns our meeting today. Council, did you want to consider the appropriation? Do we have to consider the appropriation? Yes. All right, let's take a motion in a second. Uh, council, can I put it on the record? Go ahead. Yes. Uh, the council is considering an amendment to the annual appropriation resolution concerning the emergency relief funding for the small business item just discussed. Uh, this will require five votes. It is subject to veto. Uh, the council would be appropriating $500,000 from the senior center item before for this item. Also, $250,000 from the city attorney's budget would be redirected to be used for the small business loan program with conditions. And the conditions, should I add the conditions? Yes, the condition will be that uh, any remaining funds in the city attorney's office budget at the end of the fiscal year will be rolled over to the next fiscal year. And also any donations made from the private sector for this program will also be appropriated for this purpose. Thank you. Is there any member of the public wishing to speak to this resolution? Yes. Seeing none, I'll bring it back to council. Is, this, is there a motion? Motion by Councilmember Soria, second by Councilmember Carbasi. Roll call, please. Councilmember Soria. Aye. Council Member Carbasi. Aye. Council Member Chavez. Yes. Council Member Bredefeld. Yes. Council Member Esparza. Aye. Vice President Capriolio. Yes. President Arias. Yes. That officially adjourns our meeting of today. Thank you all for coming. It is 3.40 in the afternoon.